Now, your weather alert forecast. I'm 3 News Now weather alert meteorologist Jennifer Zepp and with this latest weather update for 3newsnow.com. Once again in the morning, we're going to start off with some dense fog, so reduced visibility causes some problems as that morning commute gets underway as you're heading to work and school. Be prepared for some slick road conditions. Again, a little bit of mist forming across the area, so roadways and even sidewalks will probably become a little bit slick in some spots. So be prepared for that as you're heading out early in the morning. As we head into the afternoon, we will start to warm things up, but it's not going to be a big warm up for us. Cloudy skies expected for most of the day. Highs in the mid to even upper 20s to near 30 degrees, so we're staying below freezing. There's another weak system coming through that could generate a few snow showers between Columbus and Norfolk late in the afternoon, and I I think even late in the evening we could see a few snow showers passing through less than a half an inch expected with this latest round coming in might impact that early morning drive on Thursday, but generally dry conditions for us on Thursday. It's Friday. This is the storm system that is going to bring in a pretty powerful punch to the area. We're looking at not only very windy conditions, blustery conditions both Friday into Saturday, but also expecting accumulating snow several inches most likely across the area. And we're also looking at high impacts on the storm system. Travel is going to be impacted, especially during the evening commute and then going into early Saturday morning. Plus, you add in the bitterly cold temperatures as the system exits the area. We're going with a high of only 10 on Saturday. Again, wind chills will most likely drop bet below between about minus 10, 20 to about minus 30 degrees. Our morning low will also be well below zero. Looking at high on Sunday of only four. After that snow winds down at about noon, on Saturday, we're still going to see that cold air sticking around here, even into early next week. Monday and Tuesday, we're going to stay in the 20s for highs and another chance for snow by early next Tuesday.